Nigeria is grappling with a ticking time bomb as electronic waste or e-waste continues to mount across the nation. Processing over half a million tons of discarded electronics annually, the environmental and financial risks are reaching critical levels. According to experts, electronic waste, otherwise known as e-waste, are discarded electrical appliances such as computers, office electronic equipment, entertainment device electronics, televisions, phones, and so on. It also includes used electronics, which are destined for reuse, resale, salvage, recycling, or disposal. As technology advances rapidly, so does the e-waste problem. Hazardous components from old computers and electronic equipment create massive scrap heaps of e-waste nationwide, particularly affecting developing nations where affordable electronics offer a lifeline for those in poverty. The sheer scale of the issue is staggering. Up to 90% of the world's e-waste, valued at nearly $19 billion, is illegally traded or dumped every year, according to the United Nations Environment Program. Nigeria faces the daunting task of handling over 1.1 million tons of e-waste yearly both locally and from international sources. This influx includes a mind-boggling 500,000 containers of e-waste imported monthly. Indeed, e-waste generation in Nigeria has reached an alarming state and has continued to rise. Findings have shown that Nigeria generated 461.3 kilotons in 2019 to rank the highest in West Africa and second after Egypt on the continent. The 461.3 kilotons amounts to 64.2 billion naira. It was gathered that in Nigeria, the largest form of e-waste, which is a computer and its accessories, constitutes about 60%, while mobile devices follow with a 25%. Others, like photocopiers and other office equipment, account for the remaining 15%. Improper disposal poses a double threat, polluting the environment and endangering public health. Toxic chemicals from discarded electronics seep into the soil and water, presenting a significant danger to communities. As part of moves to sanitize the environment, the Nigerian Communications Commission, NCC, had earlier disclosed plans to commence activities that will result in the formulation of regulations on e-waste in Nigeria. NCC noted that the global concern for the regulation of e-waste is two-pronged, which includes the acute awareness of the hazardous properties and the potential risks to human health, as well as their capacity to degrade the environment, and secondly, is the business case and vast potential for wealth creation in recycling e-waste into more benign and productive uses. International Telecommunications Union, ITU, noted that the specific e-waste legislation on the management of it is still lacking in most African countries. According to it, few countries have legislation published in Africa these include Egypt, Ghana, Madagascar, Nigeria, Rwanda, South Africa, Cameroon, and Côte d'Ivoire. However, it said enforcing the legislation is very challenging. The Federal Ministry of Environment and National Environmental Standards and Regulation Enforcement Agency, NESREA, in collaboration with some e-waste recyclers, recycled some 300 tons of e-waste in Lagos in May 2023. Efforts to control e-waste have faced challenges, but the urgency to act is undeniable. Nigeria must find innovative solutions to manage e-waste sustainably, both for environmental protection and to prevent financial losses. With the clock ticking, Addressing the e-waste crisis is not just an environmental responsibility, it is an imperative financial and health imperative for Nigeria's future. Sheon Ajayi, Suk News.